How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle. Today we're in a battle versus Rylan, also known as Valkyrie, from the Discord server in the OU tier. Go ahead and join the Discord server, it is the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battles right now. There's a link in the description down below. And for any man to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We're on our way to 20k by the end of the year and I'd love for you to be a part of that journey. So looking at the team, they've got Dragapult, which is a big fright, Goldengo, which is a pain, Ribombe, Chinchino, Incineroar, and Great Tusk. Pretty awesome team, to be fair. So, if we want Galvantula to do something in this game, we need to weaken that Dragapult or get rid of it. And then we need to get rid of the Ribombe. Pretty much get rid of everything. So, uh, no, if the Great Tusk is out of the way, Thunder's going to hit pretty hard. Because um, we, we have the Compound Eyes, which makes um, Thunder's accuracy about 91 accuracy. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to predict the Ribombe lead. I think. And I'm going to go... Uh, and I'm going to lead with my Iron Treads. I think that is the way to go. No? I think the way to go is to lead with... Yeah, no, I'm going to lead with Galvantula. And Volt Switch straight away on that Ribombe just to get some damage off on it. Need to pick my moves before the timer runs out. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Valkyrie. So they're going to lead off with Ribombe. As expected, as we lead off with Galvantula, or Widow, the... It's not a Black Widow, but it looks like one. Um, if it wasn't yellow. <laughs> and had eight, eight legs instead of four. But anyway, let's go for a Volt Switch right away, because they're more than likely going to go for the Sticky Webs. Um, I guess in hindsight, we could have gone for our own Sticky Webs, if, we, if for all they knew, but we didn't, because obviously we didn't want to do that. So, Volt Switch is going to do well over half to the Ribombe. And now all I need to do is go into Iron Treads and attempt to rapid spin these away. Now... Obviously, that's not going to happen. They have two go uh, they have two ghost types on the team. So let's go into Iron Treads anyway. Like so. Good old Hot Wheels. Beat that. So, we're floating in the air with an air balloon. We can KO this thing with Earthquake, and it'll do a lot of damage to the Dragon Ball and the Goldengo as well. Knockoff, on the other hand, won't KO the Ribombe from here, I don't think. So I'm going to go for an EQ, just in case they stay in, which they do to stun Spore us. Interesting. So I could have gone for a Rapid Spin there. But they have two ghost types. I just kind of assumed they'd switch into one of those. We couldn't move because of the paralysis either, which is unfortunate. Now they may go for a Moonblast to break the air balloon, but I think they will go into the ghost type now. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake once again. They stay in, so we could easily have rap Rapid Spin twice in a row, getting rid of those sticky webs. But unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. As down goes Ribombe, at least. So once we get rid of the sticky webs, they're gone for good. So that kind of threw me off, the Ribombe staying in like that, just to get some damage off to get the air balloon, because they have a great tusk, and that gets fighting type moves, so I don't think breaking the air balloon was really worth it. Incineroar comes in. So Incineroar, while we're paralyzed, definitely outspeeds us. They get an Intimidate off as well. Um, but we know this thing's probably going to be physical or mixed, and then mixed attack will be a fire type attack, probably like overheat or something. So I'm going to hard switch into my Aloma Mola, and then we're going to flip turn on this thing, because they no doubt switch out, so... And um, let's go into a Loma Mola, the palindrome over here. There we go. Like so. Get caught in the sticky webs, which is unfortunate, but what can you do about that? Not a lot. And then they go for a fake out, which is great for us because it means we've got free rocky helmet damage on the Incineroar, which is fantastic. So uh, now we'll go for a flip turn. So they're actually going to terrestrialize. Are they going to go for a grass typing or something along those lines? Or are they going to try and maximize damage output with a dark type? Grass. Okay, so grass is fine. If they have Terror Blast, we should be able to eat it up like it's nothing. Well, not like it's nothing, but um, we should be able to eat it up anyway. Uh, they go for a knockoff, though, which is fine by me. It's more Rocky Helmet chip. We do lose the Rocky Helmet in the process, but at least we get a nice, powerful, slow, use, slow flip turn off on the Incineroar. So nothing else on the team had to have taken that knockoff, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. So they've got Fake Out. They've got Knockoff. Do we assume they've got Parting Shot as well? Or U-Turn? One of the two. I think we could do. I'm going to go into Galvantula because I'm pretty confident Galvantula still outspeeds even after the Sticky Web. I'm pretty confident it still outspeeds. You know what? Galvantula should be immune to Sticky Webs because it's a spider. Probably doesn't make much sense. But I'm going to go for a Bug Buzz anyway. We do outspeed, of course. Choice Specs boosted. Incineroar goes down. Still outspeeding under a Sticky Web is amazing. Incineroar is very slow. It's a very slow starter, even though it probably shouldn't be. It's, um, it, it looks like something that could be faster, you know what I mean? All right, in comes Chinchino. So this thing definitely friends us with its Rock Blast capabilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our Iron Treads first. 
try and get a rapid spin off, even though I know they're going to block me with a ghost type this time. Try and get a rapid spin off with the iron treads. Let's see how this plays out. So sticky webs are there, obviously. And we're paralyzed, so we are extremely slow right now. They do go for a rock blast, which is going to bounce right off us because we four times resist that. They get a crit as well, which is interesting. Is it going to hit all five times? The question is whether the skill link or whether the loaded dice. Some people run technician with loaded dice for the extra power. Some people run skill link with, um, well, it's just some people run skill link. So um, let's try and go for a rapid spin here. They may try and get us with a triple axle here, and I'm pretty confident we can live. They go for a tidy up. So they actually tidy up all of the mess for us. Getting rid of the st sticky web that's gone around us. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, it means we don't have to rapid spin anymore. Which means we don't really need iron treads anymore. Other than to block this thing. We couldn't move because we were fully paralyzed. Which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Um, we'll try and go for an earthquake here. Last ditch effort to get some damage off on this Chinchino. They do go for the bullet seed though. Is that going to KO us? Because Bullet Seed is actually really weak. It's one of the few um, five hitting moves that is only like 15 base power, I think. If I'm right. Could be wrong. They do get a crit, which is unfortunate. And then we hit all five times and we're living. We get an Earthquake off on the Chinchino, which is amazing. And nearly down it goes. So that's great. Let's go for a knockoff just in case. They do go for a Rock Blast though, and that is definitely going to KO us. And it only needs two turns. Three turns to do it. As there we go. Three turns pass. Down goes Iron Tread. So Iron Treads did pretty well this game. You know, got, it didn't get rid of the hazards with the Rapid Spin, but it, got, it weakened the Chinchino, that's for sure. Um, now all we need to do is check our speed tiers. I think it's time to bring in the Hitmonlee. Look, they've got two Ghost Types and a Great Tusk. If Hitmonlee is doing anything this game, it's taking this thing out with a Bullet Punch. Um, so I'm going to go for a Fake Out just to get the normal gem boost so we get the Unburden. They do withdraw the Chinchino, though. I think Normal Gem still activates, though, which is great. And they go into the Goldengo, the Chipper, which is fair enough. So, Goldengo, you got an Air Balloon on you? No, you don't. But, unfortunately, Fake Out isn't powering that up. Um, so, we still outspeed the Goldengo. So, I am going to go for an EQ here just to get some damage off on this Goldengo. Um, and that should do... Yeah, I was going to say that's well over half. They go for a Trick, though. Interestingly enough, they go for a Trick... And um, which gives us a choice specs. So that's not a very good item for a Hitmon Lee to have, that's for sure. No chance of unburden boosting now. Let's go for an EQ once again. There's no real reason not to. They can't terror. Everything is um, neutral to ground right now. Earthquake comes through. Goldengo goes down. So that's brilliant. Goldengo out of the way. We are golden. So looks like our Galvantula is going to be the one taking care of the Great Tusk. Um, because Dragapult and Chinchino both are outspeeding KO with Rock Blast and Draco Meteor or Dragon Darts, whichever one they've got. So, knowing that, I am going to keep my Hitmonlee around. And what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to go into my Galarian Slow King to sack off slash take a hit. Depends on what set the Dragapult is, we don't know. Um, and the reason being is because that Bullet Punch on Hitmonlee could come in useful against the Chinchino. If it comes down to it. Because Chinchino outspeeds everything on my team otherwise. They do miss a Draco Meteor. Which is unfortunate. But it is what it is at the end of the day. And now all we need to do is go for a future site. And hopefully we'll see a change up of moves here. Because they had choice specs on the Goldengo. And there's no way they're like me and running choice specs on two Pokemon. They might be. I'm also running choice specs on my Dragapult and Galvantula. Just to kind of throw people off a bit. But they bring in the uh, Great Tusk. Which is great for us. So we get a future site off. Which is fantastic. And now, all we need to do is... I chilly reception here because I don't want to take any unnecessary damage on my Aloma Mola. They do go for a knockoff, which does way over half. That tells me they are an offensive set, potentially. We go for a chillingly bad joke. Like so. Boom. Get the snow up. The snow doesn't benefit the team in any way. But it is a way of getting a slow switch out. So if anyone's wondering why I won chilly reception, it's purely for the slow switch out. That's, that's all it's there for. So... Let's go into Galvantula once again. I really want Galvantula to do something this game. And that, that, that could be taking out the Great Tusk. Whatever. I want it to do something. So, let's go for that Energy Ball real quick. Hopefully, they don't expect it and they let it take it out. They do not expect it at all. And the Energy Ball cleanly takes out the Great Tusk. Galvantula coming through with the two KOs. That's, that's brilliant. 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 All right, in comes Dragapult. So, this thing is a threat. We're going to have to let um, Galvantula go down here to a Draco Meteor because I'm pretty sure Slowking can't take two. 
Especially if they go for a Shadow Ball. So I'm going to go for an Energy Ball once again. They do go for a Flamethrower. That's going to take out Galvantula, no doubt. Yes, it does. Down goes the Galvantula. But it did well. It took out the Incineroar and it took out the Great Tusk. So that's that's fine by me. And Electric type taking out a Ground type is always satisfying to see. So um, with that in mind, we've got a couple of options here. If we know they're probably locked into that, we can probably safely go into a Loma Mola. Now, we can probably slit in now. We can probably safely go into... I'm going to say we're going to go into Slow Queen. And the reason being is because I want to get another Future Sight up if I can do. I really want to get another Future Sight up. We can't at the moment because the other one hasn't popped off. But we can go for a Slack Off here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. They are locked into Flamethrower it looks like. Which is going to bounce right off us. And then we go for a Slack Off to um, basically get all our health back. So did the Future Sight already happen? Oh, it did already happen, didn't it? So let's go for a Future Sight already. Yeah, it happened and there was no target because we got the KO on the Great Tusk. That's that's what happened. So in comes Chin Chi now. Nice and powerful, nice and tiny. Look how small that thing is. It's so small. So we get another Future Sight off, which is great. And um, the snow is going to stop. I think Slow King can do this from here. So I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb. They go for a Rock Blast, which is going to sting a little bit in the long run. Because it is going to hit five times. Or four times, depending on whether they load a dice or skill link. Looks like five times every time so far. So I think we are all right. So Slow King is going to be able to finish off this Chinchino with a Sludge Bomb. Which means the next turn, Dragapult's going to go down. To it. Well, not go down necessarily, but it's going to take some damage from a future site. And then Hitmonlee can hopefully come in and bullet punch that thing to death. So we haven't had to Terra yet. So I would Terra with a Hitmonlee just to get the uh, damage off. So, let's go for a Sludge Bomb just to get some damage off. They do go for a Shadow Ball. This should take us out of their specs. As I believe they are specs based on that damage. Now, let's see how much damage this Future Sight does. Future Sight coming in clutch right now. Watch, watch. There we go. Future Sight comes through. And it does just under half. Let's go with a Hitmonlee. Let's go with a Hitmonlee. I think Terra Bullet Punch may KO from here. So I'm going to Trashalize Bullet Punch. That's what I'm going to do. I think that'll KO. If it doesn't, we may lose Hitmonlee here. But we still have a Loma Mola in the back who can definitely take a Shadow Ball and go for a Skull to take this thing out after a Bullet Punch. So I think we're all right. And I'm pretty... Our, our Dragapult is modest because it outspeeds pretty much everything in the tier, you know, but it can outspeed with modest. So let's go for a Terra Steel bullet Boosted Bullet Punch and it takes out the Dragapult with a critical hit. And that is going to be the game. So, GG Valkyrie. That was a pretty fun one. Galvantula got a few KOs, so I think it deserves its spot on the thumbnail. That's for sure. So, yeah, GG Ryland. GG Valkyrie. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.